Navigating the real estate market can be difficult, as you well know, especially when it comes to buying a new home. But today, you're in luck. We have one of the top 1% realtors in the county joining us to help you find your perfect turnkey home. I'd now like to welcome Glenn Henderson, a broker from Alliance Group. Welcome to the show, Glenn. Thank you for having me today. Describe to our viewers what you mean, your company means by turnkey solutions. Basically, we offer a turnkey solution to our clients where we don't want to just help them navigate and find a home. We want to help them navigate the entire home buying process yeah. and home ownership process. We're lined with partners and we're able to help them navigate where we help them with a mortgage. We have a mortgage professional. Help them with the tax planning. Once they close on a home and have the home ownership, mm -hmm. we don't just say goodbye. It's now let me align you with our estate planning attorney and explain why having a trust in place is important. And it's all the different steps and key mm -hmm. elements of not just buying a home, but home ownership. And that's where so many people get lost is, oh, great, I have a home, now what? Yeah. And they don't know how to protect themselves. They don't know how to properly protect their families and what the, all the other key elements are. So basically, you offer them tools for success. Exactly. <laughs> Which yep. is going to save them so much money in the long run because they're not going to make those mistakes that so many people make when buying a home. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And owning a home is one of the biggest financial mm -hmm. decisions anyone's ever going to and make. And an emotional decision. Exactly. Right? Yep. Okay. So let's talk about interest rates because yeah. we all know that's very important when you're buying a home. You want to get in on good interest rates. And last mm -hmm. year, we saw it really low. Uh, last spring was really yep. low, lo yep. lowest than I've ever seen in my whole lifetime, and then started creeping back up. What are the predictions for 2014? So for 2014, across the board, the prediction yeah. is we're going to see rates increasing about another percent. Um, predictions are at this time next year, um, National Association of Realtors predicts we're going to be at 5.4 percent. Wow. Mortgage Bankers Association predicts 5.3, which is effectively almost a percent higher than where we are right now. Um, through 2013, we saw mm -hmm. almost a percent increase in rates from where, to, where we're at today. And it's important for home buyers to understand what this means for them because we talk to a lot of buyers that are, you know what, I might wait, mm -hmm. see what the market's gonna do. I'm not sure if this is the right time. Well, what we try and help them understand and educate them on is that if you wait, what this means for you as far as your purchasing power. And effectively what it means is if that 1% increase in rate mm -hmm. um, for somebody is 10% of purchasing power, what they could afford in their home. So somebody that's mm -hmm. currently today looking at a $400,000 home at 4.5%, in a year if that rate goes up to 5.5%, mm -hmm. they're only going to be able to qualify for a $360,000 home. And that's if prices just stayed the same. We're in a price point where home prices are increasing also. As well. So wow, the interest rates are increasing, so are the home sales. Yes. So act now. <laughs> exactly. Act yeah. now and take advantage of this because that home that you could buy today, as rates continue to go yeah. up, you're not going to qualify for it. Might be out of your it. league later. It, Let me ask you this. Why do you think interest rates are rising? With it, it um, it's a big picture, but basically what it is, mm -hmm. is as the economy started to improve, improve and through the end of last year, the Fed came in and said, you know what, the stimulus and what we're putting into the marketplace, mm -hmm. they were buying $85 billion in bonds each month. Mm -hmm. Well, they've started tapering that back. They started with the first $10 million taper. Well, as that mm -hmm. continues and they stop infusing this money into the bond market, the money is going to have to come from investors. Investors want a higher return on their money, which drives up the interest mm -hmm. rates. It's kind of the short um, example of it. So as the government continues to pull out of their bond buying, that's what's going to be driving up the interest rates. And that's why everybody's able to say very confidently, this is going to happen. And again, bring it home, why it affects the home buyers. What you can buy today yeah. is not what you're going to be able to buy in a year from now. And these rates are they're still going to be historically low rates, mm -hmm. but lock in now while you can take advantage of it. It's the big what are home prices expected to do in San Diego? Can you elaborate on yeah. that a little more? Yep. We're not going to see the big gains that we saw last year. Last year, with the rates as low as they were, the market making the turn, we saw 20% gains in some markets in San Diego. That's not going to happen again. Um, yep. <laughs> we all enjoyed it, but, um, but it's going to get back to a traditional market. And we're different in analysts and with the predictions for um, San Diego, it's between 5 and 6% for this year, continuing mm -hmm. through the next couple years following that, which is excellent. Yeah, it's return. healthy. It's healthy. And the thing is, we don't want to get it artificially inflated because we know what that happens. We've seen it, right? Yes, we've all yeah. been there yeah. and we don't want to see we that again. We don't want to see that. We want to keep things real. Exactly. So, um, again, so what are some typical advice you'd give to home buyers right now? Um, for home buyers, most important thing is if you're considering buying a home mm -hmm. right now, 
first step is reach out and start the um, pre-qualification in the mortgage process with it. Because yeah. we get a lot of people that come to us, I found the perfect home, we want to get into it. Well, have you talked to a mortgage maker? No. Well, do you know what you can, can qualify for? Can you even for? qualify? Yeah. And instead of finding a home and falling yeah. in love and then finding out you can't buy it, start the process so you know mm -hmm. what not only you can afford, but what you're comfortable buying. And that's another conversation we have with people and is... Yeah, and I, I was going to say another thing is like if, if somebody's selling a home and you have somebody who's pre-qualified for a loan, and you have somebody who says, I want your home, I want to offer you this, but they're not pre-qualified, the seller is probably going to go with the person who is pre-qualified. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 10 out of 10 times that yeah. they're going to go with the person that is able to bring them the paper and say, I am approved for a mortgage. An yeah. underwriter's looked at my file. Everything is solid. I have the credit. I have the income. Everything is there. And that's as a homeowner and a home seller, that's what you want is that buyer that you know is going to be able to close on it. You don't want to gamble with your home and your finances. You know what? I have to say, I just can't get over this turnkey solution. It's brilliant. Yeah. What a niche that you guys have in the marketplace. Yeah, thank you. It's so important. And it, um, and it came from just listening and seeing what mm -hmm. our clients had. And um, especially during these last few years, working with a lot of home sellers, nobody, I'd say in 20 clients, mm -hmm. 19 of them don't have a trust in place. Oh my and gosh. then we're helping a lot of people that have had unfortunate situations and the yeah. loved one loses or passes, and the home goes to probate, and then you're letting the government take control of the sale of the home and your family's mm -hmm. um, assets instead of you making the decisions mm -hmm. up front. So we just really recognize there was a big demand and a real big need for it. Mm. Wow, great, yeah. great, great idea. Problem Solution Company. Exactly. I love it. You're yep. in good hands. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, thank you for having thank me today. You. It was great. Great.